well, how do they help? You know, they, 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 they make tedious things possible. I mean, yes, you, you, could, you could draw curves and you could draw a pie chart by hand. You should never do it. You can draw a scatter plot by hand. We used to do this in, 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 in undergrad physics lab, we would draw our plots by hand. In the lab book, one, one page was just a grid on which you would draw your points from some gravity experiments and fit the line with a ruler, right? <clears throat> and then uh, measure the slope and the intercept and you'd get some constant out of it. And that was, that was tedious, um, but it was an important step. A very important step because you realize eh, it's like do I really want to collect another data point because I'm gonna have to draw it on the page right so how do I design my experiment so that I have to do the least amount of ink on the page um, so computers are very very useful because you just you just couldn't possibly draw this in in time no no person could could draw the, the sky the the billions of stars that we have in the catalog um, whereas a computer can, can do it. The question is, do you, can you do it without a computer? Well, yeah, you, you can visualize physical processes by just rolling balls down inclines and swinging pendulums. Uh, that's a kind of visualization of, of, of equations or of, of, of ways that, of, of certain laws that we th think the universe can be described with. Um, you can do statistics by, by rolling dice and, and creating distributions. Uh, that's a kind of data visualization. Um, you can, you know, cut out pieces of paper and, and make certain shapes and then put them together and have them, have them stand for something. Uh, that's a kind of data visualization. So. You, you can do it. You can do it by hand too, and I think it's a lot of it's a lot of fun because it slows down the process to give us chance to reflect on what's happening. Often, I think we don't get that, and we overestimate our ability to get it. You know, you 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 watch some, you make a plot, and you suddenly think you have an answer. You just have a plot. And you, the more complicated it looks, the more accomplished you feel. But really, it was just one button. It was a preset. And now you feel like uh, further along than maybe you actually are, because you've created something with, that looks very authoritative, especially when you print it. When you print it, oh, you know, it's on the page. It has to be right. Because when it's on the screen, it's still, it's still, it still could still be easily erased, right? Once it's printed, it's, it's, it must be true. Um, so the, the doing it by hand slows you down, and you have to, and, and it gives you time to think about what you're doing, which is important because it, it, it simmers, you know, it simmers that stew of, of new knowledge, and it lets it percolate because we're not that smart. <laughs> we, don't, we don't get everything right away. It, it, and it isn't just how quickly you understand something, it's how many thoughts you've had about it. And you can only have a certain number of thoughts in any given time. In, in, in some way, people can be described as smart, right? They get ideas quickly. But nobody's a fast thinker in the sense that I don't think that m I can think of more thoughts in a, in a second than you can, whatever our other capacities may be. And I think that the number of thoughts you have about a topic changes your attitude towards it, and it changes your thoughts about it. And what's required for that is time. That can't be accelerated. There is no you know, thought that that you, I can have that is a substitute for a thousand thoughts about it. Like, you know, like a, a concentrated vitamin pill thought that I could just supplement myself with. I don't think there is such a thing, at least not reliably. So you need time. So sometimes it's really good when computers are not involved. Really good, very good. Uh, and I don't, I, there's like fewer and fewer things where computers are not involved. Huh. Yeah, well, unfortunately or fortunately, they make certain things possible that they weren't possible before. But I also think that they make some things impossible that were possible before. We never focus on that because somehow we're beyond that, you know. Because uh, there's lots of things that, that happened before that we don't want to happen again <laughs> uh, because they were objectively bad things and we have progressed further. But um, 
may be aspects of um, internal aspects of, of how you perceive, subjectively perceive life and your experiences. Um, maybe there's an impact on that through the acceleration of, you know, the, the inputs and the external world around you. You're not accelerated internally to keep up with it. Uh, you move at the same pace as your Neanderthal cousins in the caves. Um, you just now have language to describe what it is that you're feeling. So it's a struggle all the time.